Imagine you've built a new app that allows customers to take a ride with unicorns and you've built the entire stack using service components. So you've got great scalability, resilience, and the whole thing is very cost effective. But to ship this product quickly, you've had to rely on lots of other third party services. And occasionally some of these services doesn't respond quickly and the user experiences timeouts when they request to ride a unicorn. You want to be able to identify these problems quickly and then figure out which service is the problem. So you can either put in some defensive coding around that or perhaps even move to a different provider. And here at Lumigo, we are doing quite a few things to help you debug these kind of timeout issues quickly. The first way we can help you is by letting you know when a Lambda function has timed out through our many integration options. In this case, I have the email integration enabled, so I would have received an email about the fact that this Lambda function has timed out and I can click on the link in the email and that's going to take me to the transaction in Lumigo to see what actually happened. So in this case, we can see a user made a post request to the right endpoint and the Lambda function behind it has timed out after six seconds. We can see the invocation event for the Lambda function and the fact that the issue was a timeout and we can see the environment variables that was used by this function. And we can see the logs from the function all in one place. And to help us figure out the culprit for this function timing out, we can look at a timeline view. And uh, from the timeline view, we can see that our Lambda function made a get request to this endpoint, but never actually got any response back from the endpoint when it was timed out after six seconds. So the root cause in this case, is this API and the particular endpoint that we were trying to hit. And if you had missed the notification, you can always come back to the Lumigo console and go to issues page and find all the problems that's been captured by Lumigo organized around the Lambda functions as well as the type of issues. And for the timeout problem we're looking at, we can click on this link here and that's going to take us to the invocations for this request unicorn function behind API gateway. And then again, we can click this to go back to the same transaction that we saw earlier. And to get a bird's eye view of the response time for all the different services that our Lambda functions depend on, we can always go back to the dashboard and look at the service widget. And if we sort the service latency by the P99 or the 99 percentile latency, then we can quickly identify that this endpoint just doesn't perform very well. Perhaps there's some underlying issue with this endpoint or this provider, and maybe we should move on to a different one. And then click on either one of these numbers to find the information about the transactions where the slow response time from the API was recorded in. And again, I can easily navigate to the transaction where we made a request to this endpoint. In this case, we have a different function that also made a request to this endpoint and actually got a response time of around four seconds. So that's it. That's how you can very quickly debug timeout issues. I'll see you guys next time.